Hey everyone and welcome back to the 2023 Twin Cities Film Fest. I'm Tiffany Norton, one of your red carpet hosts. Thanks for, you know, tuning in, joining us. We have just this final weekend and um, one of the projects that we're going to talk about next and we're having a screening and I want to introduce you to one of our sponsors, U.S. Bank and Greg Cunningham. Greg, thank you so much for being one of our sponsors, of course, and joining us at the Twin Cities Film Fest. Um, tell us a little bit about the project Translators and how you became involved. Yeah, Tiffany, first of all, we are so excited. Um, U.S. Bank is just incredibly thrilled to be a part of the Twin Cities Film Festival and to be a sponsor this year, and not only be a sponsor, um, but to um, share an incredible film, I've, I think, um, this story of um, three families, um, these three young kids who translate everyday life for their families. Uh, the film is called Translators, and these three kids represent the over 11 million kids in this country who translate everyday life for their, their families, everything from financial information to healthcare information, just the really important aspects of life. And the story was really a brainchild that came to us by listening to community and listening to our bankers um, who were helping customers on a daily basis. And they would notice oftentimes that there was a little voice in the background mm -hmm. translating for the adult what our bankers were saying. And what we learned uh, throughout that process, Tiff, was that language actually is access, um, that language is a vehicle to a better financial future. Absolutely. And um, watching the trailer, it's hard to not, it's hard to not, you know, it's something we take for granted, right? The ability that we can just understand how our own systems work, right? Yeah. And then, and I have seen it. I've actually worked in banking, fun fact. Um, and uh, But I've seen that where I've actually translated um, r complex financial decisions through somebody who's maybe a middle schooler or a high schooler because they are the most fluent in the family. So thank you for shedding a light to that. That's amazing. Um, uh, it sounds like a really interesting project. What was it like to work with the kids? They were amazing. The, um, so the three kids are Denzel, who was 11 when we started filming, um, Hottie, who was 13, and Virginia, who was 16 at the time. And what you'll discover in seeing these kids is just the sheer weight and the responsibility that these kids have taken on at such an early age. I mean, um, uh, spoiler alert, there's a scene in the film where Hottie is uh, translating a really important piece of information for her parents, and she starts to um, to sweat because she's trying to find the right word, yeah. and she doesn't want to make a mistake because it's right. a really important moment. So um, they're incredible, amazing young people who just um, have impressed in, in every every way possible. Well, again, this is such a great subject. I'm glad that there are uh, champions like you um, to bring these stories to light. Okay, so a little bit more of a fun question. Sure. Okay, I prepped for you. I prepped you for this. You did, and I still don't think I have a good answer. Well, you know, I could come up with answers for you if you really want me to. Um, but I like, you know, if someone was going to make a movie of your life, who, and you could cast it, who would you like to play you? Who could really bring it? It doesn't have to be looks necessarily. Yeah. It could just be. All right, I got it. Okay, okay. I got it. Okay. It's a young Lawrence Fishburne. Fantastic answer. Young Lawrence Fishburne. Yes. There There's. Is. There it is. And, and, you know, I, I, I have to tell this really brief story. Please. I'm on my honeymoon, and I walk into the gift shop with my new bride at the time. Okay. We're at our honeymoon in wherever we were, Antigua. And this woman comes up to me and says, oh, my God, we thought you had left. I'm so proud to meet you. Can you sign my autograph? And I'm like, autograph? What are you talking about? And she's like, aren't you Denzel Washington? I'm like, I'm not Denzel. She's like, but he was just here. He was literally oh. at the same thing in the same hotel as us during that time. So. There, that happened. My wife will know. She still rolls her eyes every time I tell that story. But did you give her the autograph? I, I, I did before I actually did. But I signed my name. So I ne you never sign anybody else's name. That's <laughs> rule number one. <laughs> well, I was going to ask you as a baker, okay, then, rule you know. One. Yeah, yeah, don't sign no, anybody no, else's no. name. <laughs> no, no, no. You don't do that. Excellent, excellent. Well, I'll let you go so you can get to the screening. So great to get to meet you, it's sir. Such a pleasure. Yes, thank you so Enjoy much. Oh, thank you. And thank you for being a sponsor of the Twin Cities Film Fest. Again, the red carpet is still kicking all this weekend. The 2023 TCF Twin Cities Film Fest. Uh, we'll be back.